Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I am the Sporkinator, and welcome back to Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. In the last episode, we won the Lynx Club Tournament and even got the end credits rolling. But the game is not over yet. In fact, if we talk to a few people around here, they will talk about how I'm the Grand Champ now, and they'll be talking about Peach's Castle, which is crazy. We have not been to Peach's Castle, wherever that is. But this guy has something very interesting to say. I hear invitations to Peach's Castle come unexpectedly. I hear Genius got one going from Marion to Lynx. Interesting. But before we head out, there's just something funny I want to do. I mean, I find it kind of funny. I don't know if it's actually that funny, but hey, you talk to this girl here. The X Club champs are in the lounge again today. Because <laughs> none of them are club champs anymore, so now they're referred to as the X Club champs. Oh, it's so funny. But we can talk to them one by one. Let's talk to Putz. I guess all I can do is admit you're the best. Be sure to be the first Grand Champ to beat Mario. Oh, I will. Grace says, congratulations on the championship, Lemon. The way you handle your clubs, I knew you'd take it. If you say so. And Tiny. You showed him in the Lynx tournament, Lemon. Now I want to see you beat Mario. And Genius, are you okay? I've failed, Lemon. You have bested me. Surely you'll be invited to meet Mario. I challenged Mario many times, yet victory eluded me. You may be able to defeat him. Yes, defeat him for me. Well, genius, I will do it for you, because you were... You were not much of a challenge because you messed up, but... Man... At least you're sort of a decent sport about it. I guess you've had some time to get over the shock and stuff. You are amazing. Someone finally beat Genius. So I guess we'll head out and maybe get our invitation to Peach's Castle, which will be nice. And you, sir, do you have anything to say? You've come a long way, Lemon. Grand Champion is the top. Well, let's go outside. Uh-oh. Hey, Lemon, going outside? Yes. Head for Link's Club. Something good will come of it. Genius was up that way when his invitation came. Yeah, that's what that other guy said. That just going from Marion Club to Lynx Club yielded an invitation to Peach's Castle. Which is ever so fascinating. Oh no, the sky is flashing! There's the envelope falling from the sky. Or the envelope, however you pronounce that. I say envelope, but that's just me. A letter is falling from the sky. Congratulations, Grand Champion Lemon. As the top player, I invite you, Peach. That's right. Ooh, what's this? Well, that's how you get to Peach's castle in the first place. So I do believe we will check this out right now. Boom! It's like we're in a whole nother world. And the music that's playing right now is a remix of the Peach's castle theme from Super Mario 64, I think. Do, do, do. Actually, right at the moment, at the moment, it's the Super Mario Brothers theme, like in slow motion, so never mind. But there is another area up ahead that has a Peach's Castle theme remix from Mario 64. Grand Champion Lemon, welcome to Mario World! I'm trying to do the voice of Toad now. Talk to the Bob Bob over there to go to Peach's Castle. And you? You'd better hurry if you're entering Peach's tournament. Yeah, you say that, but we have plenty of time. And bob -omb. That hole will take you to Peach's castle. Let's crawl in the hole and see what happens, shall we? <laughs> How exciting. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do! Boom! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Ah, see, here we are. Now, okay, this is Peach's castle from Super Mario 64. Princess Peach! Grand Champion Lemon is here! This does not sound like Toad anymore, does it? Oh well, I'm trying. Welcome to Mario World, Grand Champion Lemon. We would like to welcome you. Thank you for waiting, everyone. Let us begin the tournament. Lemon, you kept me waiting. I came here to beat Mario. I don't care about any Grand Champion. 
There's Yoshi. Yoshi's a right. That's a mean Bowser. Luigi's talking, by the way. Don't say such a thing. I did more of a Mario voice than a Luigi voice, but okay. Well, this champ better not be wasting my time. Lemon will get a great score. Well, Lemon, may we begin the tournament? Well, sorry, but no. I'm not ready yet. Oh, you're not mentally prepared? Do tell us when you're ready. Well, at some point, I will begin the tournament. In fact, I am ready for it now. I think I could handle it. But, no. There's actually something else I want to do. And to do that, I do believe I need to... Save and quit? Or can I just reset the game? You know, I won't actually lose anything if I reset the game. So, let's reset our Game Boy. And then... Skip the intro. Because there's something I want to do first before the tournament, you know, just for fun. And no, it's not playing Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt over again. Nope. I do want to play a match game with Mario himself. Now, despite unlocking Peach's Castle, it's not available for a match game with anyone. And just to prove that it is, in fact, unlocked, I'm going to go back. I didn't I guess I didn't have to go back that far. But I choose Stroke. And wait, this didn't happen yet? Maybe it didn't save. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I guess I didn't have to cut, because it didn't take that long. But, seriously, like... Okay, what I was gonna do is show Stroke and prove that Peach's Castle was unlocked. See, there it is. It's actually available for Stroke. But, if we pick Match Game, not Tournament, Match Game, there we go. And we decided we were gonna play against Mario. No matter who you pick, I don't think you can ever pick Peach's Castle for a match game. And that's a huge shame. So, to challenge Mario and beat him, which course do you think will give him the most trouble? I'm gonna place bets on Link's Club. So here we go. We're playing a match game with Mario before the tournament. And we've got the Super Mario Brothers theme playing. I guess that's Mario's theme music for his match game. Do 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 Ah, the nostalgia is flowing, isn't it? The only thing that makes me ever so slightly... I don't want to know if it's really disappointed, but ever so slightly... I guess slightly disappointed, really. Is that it's just straight up the Mario Brothers theme, it's not like a remix or anything. But... I'm not gonna complain that loudly, I do love... the Super Mario Brothers theme. And this same theme... I do believe the same theme plays during the tournament. They don't have a separate one for that, as was the case with the other clubs, where Tiny had his own theme, but then Dune Club had, had its own theme. Same with Genius, Putts, and Grace. All their match games had separate themes from the tournament or the course itself, or whatever you want to call it. But such is not the case with Mario. The same theme music plays during the match game and the tournament for him. They didn't write another theme for that, which is a little bit of a shame, but, you know, we'll let it slide, because the Mario theme is just so awesome all by itself. But the cool thing is, it does actually sound different from the Super Mario Brothers, the original Super Mario Brothers theme. It's like played with different instruments, maybe different square waves or something. So it doesn't sound identical, even though it is the exact same tune, let's be honest. So it's kind of cool that they, I guess, softened it up is the only way I can really describe it. It is a little easier on the ears, I would say, than the one that actually played in Super Mario Brothers. But I think there's actually a huge chance that I will not beat Mario. So we'll have to see how this turns out. Because Mario's going for an approach now, and if he chips in, he will beat me here. He missed. Thank goodness. Anyway, just a little tappy tap and our ball's in the hole for this one. That's par. Mario's also getting par. I kind of expected him to birdie on the first hole, really. But Mario... Trust me now. Mario is going to be harder to beat than Genius. Mario has a 270-yard drive, which means when he hits the ball from the tee shot, he has the potential to go really, really far, which is fantastic for him. And me? I have a 223-yard drive, so I'm kind of gimped in that regard. But maybe Link's Club will give Mario trouble, I don't know. I actually am not sure. I think I usually challenge him on Marion Club, and even then I think I only win if I've leveled up my drive a lot or I'm using the Distance Club. But we'll see what he does here. 
He's cutting his shot a bit a bit short, so he's not going for the full 270 yards. Or maybe he messed up his shot, because he straight up landed in the sand. This didn't happen the last time I played him, because I actually played him a little bit here on Lynx Club off-screen. I didn't finish the game, I just wanted to see how the first few holes would go. And he's doing something different this, because he did not mess up last time. He actually did better last time. He beat me on the first hole, actually. But, you know. That was just to see, like, whether or not a match game with Mario was even a slightly good idea. So I really just wanted to know if I should go on to the tournament or play the match game. So I decided a match game would be fun, even if I lose, I think it'll still be fun, and I'm in the bushes. Oh, this is terrible. This also did not happen last time. But maybe Mario's soundtrack... Uh, sound trap? No, sand trap! What am I talking about? Hopefully Mario's sand trap will help balance this out and he won't completely clobber me here. I don't know. But what I'm wondering is, do I even have a shot at the green from where I am? It would appear I do. And I'm gonna overkill it because of the bushes. In fact, I'm gonna overkill it even more. Because these bushes really won't let me go anywhere. See, I completely overkilled it and still came up short. That's how it goes. It's Mario's turn! Mamma mia! Oh, and the cool thing is, if you decide to play as Mario or play as Luigi, they're both right-handed, right? But, if you hold select while choosing your character, you can make them left-handed if they're not already left-handed. I don't think this works with the character I've created. I don't think I can flip him to a, a righty. Or vice versa, depending on which you pick at the be beginning of the game. But, I do have yet to try it, so maybe I will at some point. I don't know. But, let's hope for the best with this approach shot, I tell you what. Let's see, how much overkill do we need? Not much. And I'm gonna do topspin. Okay. I passed up the hole, but the next putt will be easy, so that's par. Mario, with the fourth shot. Will he chip in? If he does, he wins. Hmm, I don't see him as the kind of guy that usually chips in. But he seems to have pretty good control despite his long drive most of the time. But what am I even talking about? He landed in a sand trap on this hole. And he's getting par for like, the second time. When in my little test game, he got a couple birdies. It's amazing that a guy with such a long drive would not get below par on a par of five. Oh well. There's something to be said for superior control. It puts me on par with Mario, you might say. I'm not even sure if that qualifies as a pun since we're actually playing golf. Or maybe that is the joke altogether. Oh no, the hill. The hill sucks. I'm gonna have to power up that hill. Oh well, that's how it goes. Also, rest in peace 2016. You were not that bad of a year, despite what everyone says. I already went into detail on another episode, so I'm not gonna repeat that whole rant, of course, but geez. 2016 was not that bad, really. I'm not sure what people are complaining about. I mean, sure, a few people died, but that happens every year. Did you know that millions of people around the world die and are born every single day? Well, now you know. This is way too hard. <sighs> Good grief, man. I actually don't want to put up with that. It's a par 3. It won't take long to repeat it. It's so weird to hear the Mario theme playing on Link's Club, though. It's really too bad that we couldn't challenge him at Peach's Castle, because that would have given us a little practice on Peach's Castle before the tournament, which would have been really nice. But I guess the good part is that when it comes time to play the tournament at Peach's Castle, we will get to see the course, I guess, for the first time. And no, I'm not going to practice that tournament beforehand, because if I happen to win the first time, I want it on video. i tell you what. That's important. If the first try is successful, it should be recorded. If possible. Know what I mean? Oh wow, he landed in a different spot this time! I'm not imagining this, am I? He missed his second shot. Wait! So he's not deterministic? His AI changes? I find that to be really interesting. I really need this shot to not suck. Can we please not suck? That would be cool. That's how you not suck, right there. What did I do last time? Did I miss par? Or did I, I simply missed birdie last time. Okay, so I did. It was worth restarting. I got the birdie that I really wanted. But I wasn't expecting to beat Mario with it. I thought we were going to tie with birdie. But I don't remember what happened the first time, whether he missed birdie or not. I only pay attention to my own shots. They're the ones that matter. Because I don't have any control over his. All I can do is make mine the best that I can. Regardless of what Mario himself does. Do, do, do. Nice! I gauged the wind perfectly. That's exactly where I wanted to land. 
I love it when an evil plan comes together. I mean a plan comes together. Maybe it is an evil plan. Maybe I'm evil. Who even knows? Because I could be super evil right now and plotting world domination, and none of you would be any the wiser. And maybe I am planning world domination, or maybe I'm faking it to have a distraction from the person who actually is plotting world domination. You don't know! Anyway, how silly. How silly of me to even suggest such a thing. I'm getting silly, man. I'm crazy. I think I've lost my mind. Let me know if you find it. That would be fantastic. In fact, if you find my mind, uh, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, leave a comment on this video. And I'll know to not go there to get my mind back, because I don't think I want it back. I'm actually not sure. Because do I suffer from insanity, or do I actually enjoy every moment of it? Never can be too sure these days. But Mario is just chipping away at his shots. Wow. He missed... He missed Birdie again. I mean, if I miss this, it's not the worst thing ever. But I will try to get it. We're going up a really steep hill. Which is really annoying. But hey! It went in! First try! No restarts, no restarting or save stating on that one! Okay, I am having a much better time with Mario than I expected. I did not expect to start winning this soon. I figured it would come later. But even Mario seems to have trouble with Link's Club. And from what I remember, Peach's Castle is really tricky. So I'm guessing that's why you can't play a match game with the AI at Peach's Castle. Maybe the AI doesn't know how to attack Peach's Castle at all whatsoever. That could be a thing. I'm not in the sand, am I? Good grief. Fairway, thank you. But I do have a suspicion that the AI cannot handle Peach's Castle. It's a very tricky course. I don't even know if I'm going to get through the tournament without having to save and quit and then re-hit like I did uh, in the Lynx Club tournament. So when that finally comes around, we're going to see how it goes, of course. But anyway, aiming for the sand trap seems foolish, right? But it'll probably work out. In fact, I'm going to use power to make sure I don't come up short. Darn the consequences. I'm probably going to hit way too far, but you know. Coming up short just make. Oh, wow. Did I just... Okay, it looked like I was out of bounds, but apparently I am not out of bounds. That's interesting to me. But I thought I royally screwed up and landed out of bounds. I'll tell you what. And Mario's second shot is just not on the green today. Huh. Well, okay. Chip in, Mario. If you chip in, you'll beat me. Because I don't think I'm going to make my next shot. No chip in for you? We're probably going to tie on this hole. That is my prediction right now. I'm so glad I'm not out of bounds, even though it looks like I should be. Good lord, man. This is a 6-iron? No, I want a 5-iron. There we go. Let's roll it in. Okay. Okay, not bad. Especially considering the wind. That's nice and close. I'm closer than Mario is for the par putt. So it's not likely that he's going to miss this, but if he does, he's screwed. Yeah, he got it. I'd be surprised if I ever see Mario get a bogey. I don't think that's ever happened. So let's get this in. Oh yeah, we tied. Well, despite how hard we tied, we just couldn't pull it off. We tied our best. Ha ha. The puns are just hilarious today. And unnecessary, I might add. Oh, good grief. The wind. I don't know why I'm worried about a four mile an hour wind. But I guess it makes sense to be aware of what is going on. And I'm hoping that will actually make the green, even though I cut it shorter than I want. Oh, wow. Wow, that is nice. That is not bad. If you can pull that off in real life, you're, you're a good golfer. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's just great. It doesn't have to be a hole-in-one. It doesn't have to be a hole-in-one to be a good shot. Let's be real. Is Mario gonna get a hole-in-one? Holy crap, he got a hole-in-one! Whoa! Well... You deserve that victory, Mario! <laughs> Even if I don't get a hole-in-one in this Let's Play, Mario just did, so there you go. Wow, he deserved that one. If you beat me with a hole-in-one, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, man. You can't even save and quit after something like that happens. It's too late. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, the AI got a hole-in-one. Never thought I'd see the day. I mean, I know it happened once with Tiny, but... Despite... I'm... Mean, Jeez, that's crazy. A hole-in-one. He got a hole-in-one. Well, that's how screwed I am, and we're not even halfway there. Is Mario gonna do that again? Oh, man. 
This is gonna be a match game for the ages if he gets another hole-in-one. It already is a match game for the ages, just with that... Because he, he got par on all the holes, right? And then just out of nowhere, he gets a hole-in-one. Out of seemingly nowhere, I should say. It probably wasn't complete. What? I'm hitting the tree? Oh no, we can't have that. I'm gonna take a risky curve shot. This is not gonna go well. Or maybe it will! Maybe I lied! It actually went surprisingly well. I'm on the green. I hate curve shots. They're fun to do, but at the same time I hate them. Because I don't think I'm very consistent with being able to land on the green like that with a curve shot. Pretty crazy, if you ask me. Oh, is he gonna land out of bounds? Oh, I sure hope not, dude. That would suck. <gasps> okay, he's in the rough. He's okay. He's sorta kinda okay. I'm gonna beat him if he doesn't chip in, though, I tell you what. Because my third shot could very well go in. Whereas his shot missed. Yeah, it's sink to win. And we are going slightly downhill. So, I think of... I'm not sure if I need to overkill this or not. I probably don't. We're going downhill, man. Just all going downhill. Perfect! I could not have gone better, I tell you what. Another victory for me against Mario! That's crazy! I figured Mario would be the one three holes ahead, and I would be the one lagging behind. But, we're gonna take a break here. I'm the Sporknator, thank you for watching, and next time on Mario Golf, we continue our match game with Mario. So, may we meet again in the future. Goodbye, for now.